Hi folks, uh, this is Gary from Live Bait Vending. Uh, we just got in a brand new uh, ADA Evoke Sportsman and before we put it out in the field we decided to go ahead and do a short video trying just to explain uh, what to do when you when it arrives and how to set it up. So we, we hope this video will be helpful. Um, when your machine arrives, uh, it'll be on a pallet. It's a breakaway pallet. And what we do is, um, you'll see down here, there's Phillips screws. Um, what you do is, I just put a Phillips head on this, and then you um, just, take each screw out and all these pieces of boards come off so you're going to be left with just this and that in the bottom and then if you look here there's a a crack on both sides it's split so you just get a crowbar and a hammer and that breaks away and then you just discard the broken pallets and the boards you can use them for kindling for firewood or whatever but all this comes apart um, it's way better than what we had before, so it works real well. Um, when your machine arrives, if you want to come back here, Nick, um, your power cord will be inside this plate. I already took this one out and plugged it in. Um, when you look at the machine, you won't see a power cord. It's inside here. And all you do is these four right here, just loosen. Um, you don't take them out, just loosen, and the plate lifts up, and depending on which way your cords, your plug is, you can either turn this upside down and have it over here, or leave it on this side. And then your power cord is right here, and that's your, um, your uh, GVC, um, your GVC plug. Um, so if we come back around here, sometimes the machine is already powered on, other times it isn't. I don't quite get that, but they, you never know how it's going to be. I have it off. So here's your power button right here. So when you push this up, the zero is off and right here is on. So you just push that. And you'll hear it start making noise and your LED lights will come on. And it'll go through all its cycles and it's just going through its testing. Um, if you look in here, here's all your extra coils right here. You have these. These are, once your pallet is off, this, you just bang that right over the leg and it's a little protector on the front legs. Um, this is when I asked for the serial number of the, um, the NIAX credit card reader, that'll be the serial number. That's where I'm gonna ask you to look. It says SN right there and it's a 16 digit number. That'll be right there. Um, and then also you have a lock I'll show you this quickly. Please, uh, I can't stress enough when you, uh, that's all right. <clears throat> As you can see, this won't be a professional video. Um, when you, you have keys for this lock, this is just a, they call it a manufacturer's lock. There's only five different keys. These keys are circulated all over the place, so you don't want to just leave it like this. We include the extra lock cover, and we also include a master hockey puck style lock. This can't be, you can't cut it or anything. Always please put this lock on, it goes right there. Um, I get calls and they say somebody got into the machine. I said, how much damage was there? There isn't any. They just used this key to get in and they just took the stuff and they were kind enough to lock it back up. 
So always use this. They can't get in this. Okay. And if you heard, when I had the door closed, the refrigeration was already running. These are your, there's your door switch right there. And that's for the alarm. When this shuts, now the machine actually thinks the door is shut. And then now when that, you open the door that pops out. Now the machine knows that the door's open. So if you're working on the machine and you hear it start to run, just push that in once and it'll stop. Um, just a quick overview of the machine before I go into the computer. Um, down the bottom is where your excess, your excess change is. This pulls out, I have to, it has a wire tie on it. I have to cut that, but this slides out and your excess change will be there. When I say check to check your coin mech, this is your coin mech, it's sideways. So what you have to do, there's a little metal thing right here. Just grab it with your fingers and it comes out on a track. Now, one thing I wanna stress is anybody who's gonna service the machine, always keep it in the back of your mind to before you shut this door, shut that. Because if you leave this open, shut the door, it happens two or three times a year. When you shut the door and this slams against there, this is all ball bearings. They'll fall out on the ground. And this, you'll have to order uh, uh, probably like 75, 80 bucks to get new rails for this with ball bearings. So anytime you're getting ready to close the door, double check. I would even put a note here that yeah, make sure you close this or whatever. That's really important. But this is where your coins go in. And this is your bill validator. And to check your bills, you simply just put your hand around this. There's a blue button there. Push the blue button away from you. Lift up, it comes right off. To put it back on, just put it right in there above a little bit. Set it down, and it's back on. And then this is this is your control board. This is where this is the brains of the machine. Um, I'll show you this now. Um, I suggest not hooking up the um, alarm until you get the uh, the pa the pallet off because it's too sensitive with the pallet on. But I'll show you how to do this. This wire here, you have one already plugged in right here. This wire right here is the alarm. You take it with that piece right there up. Just put it right there, right there. And then I'll show you when I shut the door. A lot of times with the pallet on, when I shut the door, it's so sensitive, the alarm will go off. I'll try to, okay, now, if some kid's coming around the machine and he wants to monkey around with it. And that's enough noise that is going to make him run away. He doesn't know it only lasts for a minute or so. If you open the door, it goes off. I'm going to unplug this now because we're going to put it on a trailer and deliver it. And the alarm would be going off all the way up the road. So we have it off. Um, anytime you want to do anything, uh, change prices, change temperature, anything you want to do on the machine, you have to, I'll, uh, when I talk to you on the phone, uh, helping you with setup, I'll tell you to hit the service mode button. That is in the top right hand corner and it's a little blue button right there. As soon as you hit that button, you'll hear a beep. Okay. As soon as you hear that, that means you're in the service mode. Um, if you close the door all the way, it's gonna go back out of service mode because the door switch is engaged. So when you come over here, you look, and this is the service menu. The top left is price. The next one's accounting, configuration, diagnosis, diagnostics, and options. To navigate through the service menu, what you 
just remember two, four, six, eight. Two up, four left, six right, eight down. So it's two up, six right, four left, eight down. So I wanna, it's a little windy here, so I gotta keep the door from closing. Um, so I wanna go across the top. There's a few things that, let me move over this way here. There we go. A few things I wanna show you that you have to do during setup. So use six to go across. We'll go over to options. Okay, there's options. So then if you go down, you hit eight. So I first thing I wanna do is go over to, I wanna show you cash options. So I'm gonna use eight to go down to cash options. As Soon as you get to cash options, pound is enter. So you hit enter. It's gonna ask for a password. Two, three, one, four, enter. That's the password. You can change that. That's the password on every machine that goes out. If you change it, then you can't call me and ask me what the password is, because then I won't know. Most people just leave the 2314. That's up to you. Um, when you look at this cash options, the top five boxes should be zero, which they are. Now the bottom, the bill type, zero is checked and two is checked. That means it takes a $1 bill, the zero is a one, and the two is a five. We, because of the price structure of bait and tackle, you want to try to take a one, five, 10, and 20. So we're gonna make the computer accept the um, 10 and 20. Right now it only takes fives. So what you do is hit number eight, and you'll see the arrow move. And it goes over to zero. Just keep hitting eight. I wouldn't even bother with that because uh, this bill validator doesn't take the $2 bill, I don't believe. So just pass on that one. Pass on the two because that's the five. Number three is the $10 bill. It'll take a second and then you have that. Hit eight again over to four, hit pound, you're done. Uh, cashless display is checked, max change isn't checked. You wanna leave it like that. So anytime you wanna go backwards, hit star. And we're back to the service menu and we're back to options. Now the next thing I wanna check, I wanna go down to advanced and you wanna check your temperature because the temperature that it comes from the factory isn't necessarily the temperature that you want for your bait. And we can talk about that on the phone in your area, what the best temperature would be. Um, we're, we're gonna set this one. I know what Matt likes his temperature at, so I'm gonna set it for that. Um, so you go down eight, down to advanced. Because that dropped over to the left, that means we're gonna hit four. Enter. Uh, we dropped over to the left because I hit four. We're gonna go down eight to refrigeration. Enter. Because I've already put in the password and I'm in the system, it allowed me, you would need a password for this too, the two, three, one, four. But because I was already in doing the cash options, um, it allowed me to go in. You wanna make sure, which it is, HC is checked, and that's already checked. That means hot and cold. If you just check cold food or any of those down there, the heater wouldn't work. That hot, HC means hot and cold because this has a heater. It's one of the few machines out there that does. Um, so now, same thing, you hit eight. We'll go down all, we don't wanna mess with any of that. We wanna go down, not, you wanna leave that 60, that's the ambient side of the machine, that stays 60. You don't wanna mess with that. You don't, if we left it at 36, the minnows wouldn't do well, it's too cold. The wax worms wouldn't do well, it's too cold. So 36 isn't a good temperature. So we'll just go down one more, hit enter. While you're 
your, while your cursor is on the temp, enter. And then now you hit eight. Oh, you know what? I, I'm used to going down. That, that goes down. Now two, two goes up. I want to take it up to 42. And if we get to our location and we deem that it may, if it's in a sunny spot or we may go up a temperature or two or degree or we may go down, but right now we'll leave it there. The cursor's there and that's already set. So I'll go out, we're back. Uh, we'll go across, I'll show you something else to do. Um, and you can always go back to this video and check and, and do this. Uh, and just look at this and you'll see how to do these things. You want to go over, let's see, one. So four will take you over. You want to go down one to motor count. So eight, and I'll just hit pound and it's gonna do its motor test. There it goes. Should see 43 motors, that's correct. And update in progress. And that's critical because right before that, it didn't recognize any motors. So now you'll see all these are green. The top three rows are solid green all the way across and every other one on the bottom three rows are every other one because they're dual motors. So everything's green. If you see something orange or red, call us, there's a problem. You have a, a wire off or something's, something's not right. So that's taken care of. You hit star to go back and we will go up one. Up, 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 up. I gotta go back more, there we go. Um, there's things here. Uh, I don't check this anymore because every time I do it's correct, but just in case I tell you to go down to health safety, you'll go down to eight. Health, uh, let's see, up all items, up, up one, all items, so you hit eight down, six over, it'll say all items, hit enter, it should say off, it does say off. If it's on, you got to turn it off because health safety will kick in and it'll take your machine out of service because it thinks it's too warm because it's not running at the 36 for uh, soda and food products. We have to do something a little different because of bait. So you want the health and safety off. Okay, so that's good. We'll go out. Okay, so then I'll go over one thing I want to show you real quick is over to account. So you go over one more, go down to historical. So that'd be eight. Go over six, all items, hit enter. Right now, if you look at the bottom, it says cash in tubes, zero, because there's no change in the coin mech. So for, for your bill acceptor to accept bills, there has to be um, at least uh, 30 or $40 a change inside the coin mech. So when you look, you have to have at least 30 to, we just did, uh, we just did a delivery this morning and there was $92 in change in the machine. So you got to make sure that that's always uh, above 30 bucks. If not, um, you have to re-add the change because even though the coin mech is full, the computer doesn't recognize it. So you gotta make sure you put the change in the coin mech, which I'll show you next, but you have to add the coin in so the computer adds it up. So then you hit star. And we'll go back. Now I wanna show you price. Um, 
we still have the protective gla uh, covering on this so you really can't see inside but um, if you look inside here top row top row is one two three four five six ten to nineteen twenty to twenty eight thirty to thirty nine um, so I'm just going to set this one temperature. Everything now, usually it's set for 75 cents. Um, I'm just going to show you how to set um, these. These four are usually for hooks because they're real thin. The, we call these 30 drops. Uh, this is bigger, so you can put a chain stringer in here because it's thicker. Uh, here you can put, uh, it's a little bit thicker than these. You can put a chain or a poly stringer. Um, different items. You match your thickness to these, to the uh, the thickness here to your product. Meal worms and wax worms in jars go here. Power bait jars, uh, plastic worms go here. Your baits, uh, night crawlers usually go here. Twelve count night crawlers, right here is twenty four count night crawlers. They're in a twelve ounce uh, cup. Uh, these are the same as these, so this is for twelve ounce. And then these, this door comes out and drops. These are for minnows or bigger cups. One, two, three, four, five. They're five, five drops. So what I want to show you now, to add your coin, what you do is first make sure you look here and you're still in the service mode. There's a three-minute timeout, so if you're... If you walk away from this machine, three minutes, it'll go back to sale mode. So you can't, it, there it goes. It just went back. From me talking inside, it went back to uh, sale mode. And it says, please use exact change because there's no, there's no change in the machine. So what you do to add the change, I'll go real quick. my box of change um, you hit the button again the blue button now you're in service mode I always make sure even though I hear the beep you look here make sure it says service menu and then what you want to do is pull this out and I try to get this door open as much as possible so you can see the front of it and let me just put my foot right there and then what you want to do, here's some dollar coins. You drop your money, right? You don't have to segregate it. You can drop a nickel. It counts it. There's a dollar, a dollar. Um, every once in a while, the silver dollars, um, it's the same as the dollar, regular dollar, but it's the silver. Sometimes they fall through. The gold ones work better. I'll just do some of this because we're going to take this out and deliver it this afternoon. You can't go too fast. If you go too fast, it'll just, um, it'll run right. I just did that one too fast. It ran right through and hit the ground. Just keep adding it, and it counts it. I'm not going to do... This takes a little while. I usually tell the customer if I'm setting it up over the phone to do this and call me back because it's it takes some time. And then what I'll do is I'll show you. It, it counts all the tubes except for this right tube. If you look back here, down in, you'll see four black switches right there. The one on the right doesn't have a switch. It's a, we call it a, uh, 
it's an extra tube that's good an extra tube for quarters it's just a spare tube if the quarters start getting low you want to fill this it's a manual tube you want to fill this manually so you just drop them in there the rest of these get counted through the top right here and then when you're done you shut that like i said you always remember to shut that and then what i'll show you and it's not i don't have enough coin in here but i just want to show you what i always suggest to do is go over like i said to account six historical down one eight over six all items enter cash in tubes fourteen dollars before it was zero now it's fourteen dollars and twenty cents it's still not enough but i just wanted to show you you have to make sure you have at least uh probably 20 at least 20 dollars in dollar coins at least uh two rolls of quarters and a roll of dimes and a roll of nickels and then you'll have enough in there for it to take bills so that's um that's how you do that so let me go back hit star and what i'll do is i want to show you how to set a price so setting the price you got to hit star until you're back up top four left and you go down one to set price that'd be eight and it gives you three choices all items you don't want to do that if you go to all items and set the price the whole machine is going to be that price that's for soda or snacks something like that you can make the whole machine two bucks if you wanted to so let's do uh individual items first because i want to do 10. so i'll go over here and six and go down to enter individual items okay enter selection i'll hit 10 that top left hand um, that'll be hooks so we'll go just for now we'll go two dollars it can be changed enter They had it. Did that say $50? Yeah. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back because usually the last two machines I did was $0.75, cents and that's fine. $50, it, you don't want that. So what, I, what I'll do is go uh, all items. Let's see. Over set price, 6 Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, back over. Down set price eight. Over six. All items. I'll hit enter. And that says fifty all items in this machine's fifty dollars. So I'm gonna put it back to where it, the way it usually comes and I'll put um 75 cents enter it says database update in progress so it changed the whole machine everything in there is 75 cents so now i'll go back and set price uh go back one more over and I'll do individual items so six then eight enter and then I want to do ten enter I hit selection ten enter 75 cents so I want to make that two dollars so you go two zero zero enter update in progress and the new price is two dollars so you can either go next which would be here oh and 12 enter 75 cents we'll make that one two dollars enter so what i'll do now is i'll go out if you Hitting the star is the back button. So you get to the all the way to the end 
and there it goes into the into the sale mode and if you notice here that the door's been open long enough now the refrigeration kicks on so i just push that down That's just, it's not the refrigeration running, it's the condenser fan. So that's no big deal. Um, so now we're in the sale mode. It's going through its own, uh, it's going through its testing and then it'll come up to the, it's testing the motors, everything's good. And it'll go into the sale mode. There, and I'll hit selection 10 dollars we did 12 also two dollars now we didn't do 11 it should say 75 cents yep 75 cents if I hit 60 75 cents so that's how you go in and set your price and that's pretty much it. I think the next, the last thing I want to show, a couple small details, but the next thing I want to show you, and this is very important. Um, Let me grab my screwdriver. We set we set the computer to takes to take ones, fives, tens, and twenties. But I know for a fact that this build up build validator, new out of the box, only takes ones and fives from the factory so what you have to do get yourself a 10 and 20 dollar bill you take this off and what you want to do there's a little button in there you can't really see it but you can you get something thin that'll fit in this hole right here and then you put this little screwdriver it can even be a heavy duty paper clip anything small to go in there and there's a button in there you want to hit that I just felt it and then if you come around here and look you see the light flashing right there when that lights flashing real fast you go back and put the box back on And main thing is to see if that's still flashing. Sometimes, yep, okay. So what you wanna do is, nope, it stopped. I was not fast enough. Try it again. That's hold that no, door. No, it's flashing. No, it's flashing slow. It's got a flash mask. Yeah. Let me try it again real quick. You lift the box up, hit that button inside. Is it flashing? Yeah. Fast? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why it's still flashing fast? You take your $10 bill, president head up, and you put them in, and it's going to go in and come out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's 10. I didn't count it fast. And it's still flashing. Take your 20, goes in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's set. So all you have to do to stop that from flashing is just lift the box up like this, lift it up, and put it back down. Do that again. Yeah, you just lift and put it back down. So now when you look at the bill validator, it's the standard, that's the way it looks when a customer walks up to it. So, you put the 10 in. $10. It wouldn't take a 10 before because it wasn't set. So this is your coin return. Okay, let's try the 20. 20. And coin return. What it does, it holds it in escrow. So if uh, Joe has a poker game tonight and he wants to get $20 worth of quarters, 
he can't go there, hit the corner return and get quarters. It just puts, it holds it in escrow until you make a sale. So it's not gonna get rid of all your change. And this needs to be set up. Please select a product. Um, this NIAX, it actually talks to the customers. It's not set up yet. It will be. Um, it takes a, probably 10 days for it to get set up. Um, but then it will take the chip here and it will take the swipe or it will do tap and pay, Apple Pay. Transaction canceled. Yep, it takes all that. Samsung Pay, Apple Pay. Um, I think we're just about there. Um, just some quick things. You'll have a filter here. That's your main filter. Very, very important, especially depending on where you gotta bend this down. Um, you wanna pull it out and check it uh, periodically to see how dirty it is. And then you have a spare back there. Once you put that one in, you gotta look for some more and keep this clean. If you keep, if you let that get dirty, you'll starve this re uh, refrigeration system and you're gonna kill the refrigeration system. So that's very important that you check that. Um, other than that, um, very easy to change the coils. These come down and real quickly, I'll show you, um, these are duals. So this one is a clockwise and this one's a counterclockwise. Very important, you don't want to put a counterclockwise on this because that one turns different directions. So they come out and it brings the product out. So when you're changing these, you have to make sure that this one is a counterclockwise and this one's a clockwise. We give you some spares in there. I'll assist you when you're ready to do that, but to before you do anything, you have to, there's a lever here and a here. You just put a little bit of pressure that you can feel it loosen up and pull towards you. I lift it, sit there. And then when you lift these up, you lift this motor up, this comes out. And then if you're changing coils, you have to change. This is a clockwise. You have to put a different size clockwise in here to match that clockwise. And then when you put it back in, you have to keep it like that. And what you do is you lift up, put it through that hole, and there's a catch back there. There's a little catch. And that holds it in. And then this, you just lay it on top like that. And then all you do is keep it even and push. And then it's good to go. I hope that was instructional and uh, thanks for your time.